All right, we're ready to go. Just to make sure all the audio is sounding right, I'm gonna have you say and spell your first and last name for me. Okay, Isaiah Sturry, I-Z-A-I-A-H-S-T-E-U-R-Y. Cool, Isaiah, first and foremost, you've had an unbelievable junior season. And I mean, the awards just keep piling on. This latest one, the Gatorade Indiana Boys Cross Country Player of the Year. What did you think when you heard that your name was associated to that title? I mean, I was really, really shocked, honestly. Um, it was definitely an honor to be a part of that. And uh, I'm, just, I'm just blessed that, you know, I had the opportunity to be chosen as one of them. And um, it's definitely amazing to see what the, you know, what's the future for me as an as a athlete and as a student. So it's, it's just pretty, it's just been an amazing day. I've been, I thought, honestly, um, it wasn't going to be, I wasn't going to win it really. So when I heard that I won, I was just, it was just really great. Um, definitely thankful. How does this accolade even compare or amount to the other ones that you've received this year? I mean, state champion, other accolades from that, where does this rank? Honestly, this is probably rank um, between state as winning state and um, winning this is pretty, like pretty high. Um, um, Gatorade is well known every I mean it's been well known for a long time so it's just definitely um, pretty pretty cool to be a part of it really and um, I would say probably between state and this would be my top two definitely favorite. Awesome now I read the press release but just kind of want to hear it in your own words what do you think you did to deserve this award? Um, honestly um, I mean anyone could have deserved it really um, I think maybe um, my you know my my pursuit you know to be the best really pushing myself um as well as the academic um and the uh achieving it probably winning being undefeated in the postseason probably is one of the best um lead up to as well as um there's just a hardship i've been through and just that probably really helped that and uh i mean there's, there could be a lot of things but just bottom line um just you know hard work is really it that's that's really at the end of the day what it what, it, what was the drive home Absolutely. Tell me a little bit about your volunteer work that you do. Um, for me, I uh, I like to you know help with the elderly in my uh, like in my community as well as my church, and uh, you know I am sometimes a leader with you know I have, we have little track clubs and stuff like that, and then I'm also one of the leaders for FCA, which is pretty cool. And uh, I just do anything you know that I'm able to have the free time and uh, be able to help is really always my goal because it's just help like. It's just really amazing to see other people ha be happy and it just just puts like joy for me to uh, to help. And uh, really one of the cool things that's coming up for me is um, I'm going to like to a missionary somewhere um, in Jackson, Tennessee, I believe. And so pretty soon. So it's going to be pretty amazing being able to help out. And just so I'm super excited for that. Do you know what you're going to be doing there yet? Um, I've, we have like different like like you can do really like help out the homeless shelter feed them um there's cleanup group there's a lot of different things we could do um but uh, that's just just one of the two that i um that i just came to in my mind there's just there's so much that like we're gonna be gone for like a week and so we're gonna be down there and just being you know using our free time and just our you know our our given talents to help others is really the main goal that's amazing that kind of leads into my my next question just to kind of recap i mean you're an awesome athlete on the course, but you do all this volunteer work and then you're still carrying a 4.0 in school. Uh, you know, how tough is that to not only be an athlete, but to be the student athlete first? Honestly, um, as my, it's been pretty amazing, really. Um, I, I always try to do my best in school because that will really, you know, further my education as well in college. And I realized maybe I'm not, you know, the greatest test taker, but, you know, if I can do really well in the normal year classroom, that could take me a lot further in life. And uh, I, I'm like, I want to be determined to be, you know, to push myself, whether that's running, which I love to do, as well as academics. I know sometimes it's going to be hard no matter what, what class I take, but, you know, um, you know, giving all your best is really what you can do. Um, and so that's always my goal. Never, you know, I don't give up. Like, that's something I, I hate not knowing the answer. And uh, that always pushes me further to figure out what, what to do, whether that's math, English, or anything like that. That's great. Now, I know you just won it today, but it's said in there that you get to, uh, you have $1,000 now to choose what athletic organization you want to give that to. Do you have any ideas yet of who, you, who you're thinking or you're still thinking? 
I am still thinking, honestly, there's just, I'm just mind blown from the opportunity. So <laughs> my brain is a little bit scattered. And so um, hopefully by this weekend, I'm going to do a lot of research. I mean, I have um, like well, a lot of research trying to figure out what exactly I want to do with it. But honestly, I just want to make sure that it impacts them the most and just being able to help them is really my, my end goal. That's amazing. And I'm sure you'll, you'll pick the right one. I mean, that's, that's, that's awesome. Now, it's still very fresh in your mind, but you now become a finalist for the national award. You know, that we find that out later this month. What would it mean to you to be the national winner of this award? Uh, honestly, I really don't have words to explain how, how that would be. I would just be um, very grateful for one. I mean, it's just, it, it would be definitely a, a lifetime honor of miles, milestone that I, that I achieved in the, uh, I'm like, I'm super nervous, honestly, <laughs> to figure out who the winner is. I mean, if I'm the one that's, um, I mean, honestly, I'm probably not the most deserving out of all, but if, if I get to be chosen, I'll definitely be blessed and grateful to, to be able to win that. It's just amazing. Um, I would be shocked and blown away um, by that decision, but um, I hope like, you know, they, they choose the right person and uh, it would just, it would just be crazy. That's for sure. That's amazing. Very well said, Isaiah. Now, fun question for you. Olympics are coming up less than 100 days. Um, who, who, who are we keeping an eye out for? Who are you watching? Who do you like? Uh, honestly, I haven't even kept track of that yet. Um, but I mean, no matter what, honestly, I'm always going to go for the Ethiopian. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But like Ethiopia has to win it. Like they have to because that's just my country and I love to represent that. Um, and so. that's that's amazing well one day we're going to be rooting for you running there like that's that's awesome <laughs> Isaiah is there anything else that you want to add about this I'm sure we'll be talking pretty soon but I just wanted to make sure that we touched base and you know got you the proper recognition for something like this because this is huge man absolutely I mean there's not really much um further than that cool cool well Isaiah thank you so much for your time I really appreciate it and uh, yeah, good luck. We'll, we'll be watching closely to see the see if you become a national winner too. All right, thank you. Thanks, Isaiah. Take care. See ya. See you, buddy.